Hello and welcome. I'm gonna jump right into this. Uh, this video is intended for people that have already installed the SNP software into their documents on their computer. Um, this is a problem that a lot of people have been having. I noticed in comment sections for many YouTube videos that it's a recurring issue. Uh, when I installed SNP on my computer, I tried to uh, add it to my OBS software. I currently use uh, Streamlabs OBS version 0.20.2, which I believe is the most current version. Um, either way, the, the version or the type of OBS you are using should not matter. Um, I installed the software, I dragged and dropped it into my overlay, and lo and behold, uh, it would show the current song playing on Spotify, but not, unfortunately, uh, any updated information. So when I would add a track, I would uh, change tracks, skip tracks, the information would not change. It would stay on the original song that was playing when I opened the software. So that being said, I toyed around with it and I figured out a different way to get the software to work. And this is uh, something I've tested many times and it's still working just fine. So this is definitely the preferred way to use SNP during your stream. So uh, assuming you already have SNP installed, I'm gonna go down here to uh, add a new source to your scene. And we're going to add a text GDI plus source. Uh, make sure you select add a new source because you are adding a new source to your scene. And from here, click the read from file, uh, the little button there, hit browse, go to your SNP software. I already have this opened as it's the most recent document I've been looking at. And just double click, you'll see the snip.txt appears there in the box and hit done. Now from here, this is the way it should be installed. Once I start up Spotify, well, actually, hang on, I'm going to show you something first. I'm going to open my documents, and we're going to go to, hang on one second, SNP. Right here, you'll see there's currently zero kilobytes in use as I'm not playing any music. That is fine. That will change once we start music, if this is all working properly. I have Spotify now open on my second monitor. You can't see it, but I, it's running in the background. I'm going to hit play on... It uh, doesn't matter what the song is. I've got it muted, so it should not overlap on my stream. Actually, let me do this. We're going to mute this. So there's no more speaker source that's going to mess with that. Uh, let's pop this guy back up so you can see it. Zero kilobytes in use. I'm going to hit play. And that should now change to one kilobyte. And it did. So it is working. It is connected. And here we are. We have a song by Bare Naked Ladies. Uh, and you can see it on there on the screen. So next, what I'm going to do to test out that it's working, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to skip tracks, so keep an eye on that. And lo and behold, it works. New track, uh, updated information, no issue there. I'm going to skip tracks again just to show you once more. And there you have it. Uh, from here, there's other videos on how to, uh, you know, change the font, change the color, or the all that fun stuff. I mean, you can add filters to this to create a scrolling effect, which is the way I have this set up on my stream. Um, but there's just no rhyme or reason to how you have to do it. Find something that's comfortable for you that's, you know, that incorporates well into your stream. And then you just change it to whatever you want. Does not matter. Uh, you could even change the font family. Let's go down here. Uh, yeah, so font family, you can change that, give it a cool font, give it a different color, give it an outline, change the outline color, outline width, all that stuff. Once you have it working, play with it, make it look cool, that's the advantage to it. So yeah, that's all I had to do was just actually add it as a source and not just drag and drop it as a lot of other YouTube videos will show you. That's it, hopefully this helps.